Hello, today I will randomly select towers to win Molten Mode. Crook Boss Cowboy can win by himself without support. A sniper can be installed somewhere near the end, it will not help with anything. Engineer? It will be a very easy game. Warden will not play a special role. I know I'm going to win with this set, it's not even fun. I will make a new deck, but exclude all strong towers from the wheel. Shotgunner? I don't have a shotgunner. Elf camp, great. Elf solo cannot win, but they are a strong early defense. Mortar, great. Farm, it's good that I got it. Warden is useless, I will select towers according to this list. I need to buy a shotgunner, it's good that it is not very expensive. Elf camp. Mortar. Farm. Warden. None of these towers will be able to win solo, the game should be interesting. I chose the updated abandoned city map because here the path has many turns and enough space for mortars. The elf camp will start the defense, I already tested them and I know that the elf camp can hold the defense up to 30 waves. While the elves are defending, I will farm on other towers. A great place for mortar, after a full upgrade, mortar's damage zone will be even wider. I will place the other mortars on the neighboring building, but so that they overlap the range of the first two mortars. I'm starting to set up an unbeatable path for Molten Boss. On one side of the path there will be Wardens, they will detain the zombies. And there will be Shotgunners opposite, they will shoot. Shotgunners have higher DPS than the Golden Cowboy, but have a very short range. Elves are helped by Mortars because shotgunners and wardens are still out of work. The unbeatable corridor is ready to meet the strongest zombies. All earned money I invest in strengthening the corridor. If it turns out to be weak, then it is due to lack of funds. The Molten Titans were quickly destroyed. Farms will not give more profit. Mortars shoot far, but their shots are not powerful enough. Warden's Strike is very powerful, but has a very short range. Molten Boss's goons are dying fast. The Molten Boss has almost passed through the corridor and still hasn't lost his life. These towers are not at all adapted for long-range combat. You need to build a second line of defense. The second line of defense will be in the mortar's range. That's it, 
I won. It wasn't easy, but I enjoyed this random tower challenge. <laughs>